young people generally um, they view themselves as invincible. Um, you know, you take so many risks with your body and health. You consume this drug and that drug, and you um, treat your body very badly because you think um, you'll never die. Um, though I never consumed um, substances and other really risky activity, I still have this feeling that I'm in my early 30s, I'm, nothing's ever going to happen to me. Uh, so the night that I found myself um, chased by a mob of Antifa baying for my blood, um, certainly I knew it was going back out to report is dangerous. I knew that. I had already been assaulted in 2019, but I thought I took enough precautions this time. Um, unfortunately, I didn't. You know, I was exposed, and uh, when they uh, surrounded me and pulled off my disguise, I was wearing a similar uniform to them, uh, I was completely exposed, and I took off running for my life. I don't think I've... I've never run that quickly before. Um, so all the adrenaline came in, and I was ahead I, of them, actually. Surprising, given my weight. Um, but after three blocks or so, uh, my mistake was trying to get help at a, a stoplight intersection where there were many van uh, cars and trucks that had stopped because this was in the middle of downtown and I was pounding on the, the cars screaming for help and they just drove off and uh, I tried to take off running again and um, uh, the auntie forgot me, they tackled me to the ground. So in that moment um, they punched me repeatedly, got me on the ground, and and uh, held me in hold. And in, in that moment, it, all the adrenal adrenaline left my body. And um, I remember thinking, one or two of them will kill me. Um, not every single Antifa person is bloodthirsty and, and out to kill, but many of them are really literally unhinged as we've seen in countless videos of where they'll kick somebody uh, on the head while they're on the ground, already inca in incapacitated, they'll really, they'll bring guns or shoot people and kill them, uh, and they'll start fires in, in buildings where people that are occupied. So, uh, yeah, in the, those moments I just thought, well, I hope they make it quick. And then I felt this sense of disappointment that I let my loved ones down and let myself down. I just thought for a split second about my family, that there was so much more I wanted to say and do for them, and that I I lost that opportunity because I let Auntie forget me. And uh, uh, in the video that was released um, by the New York Post, um, uh, in the middle of February, the assault that I'm referencing now happened in May of 2021. Um, you can see it all play out from the various CCTV camera angles. Um, I was lucky to make it out alive and with the injuries that I, I did. It could have been worse. I mean, I could have, you know, and made it out alive, but with a long-lasting traumatic brain injury like what I had in 2019 when they hospitalized me and gave me a uh, brain bleeding. Um, I could have all lost access to the use of my limbs. I mean, I had a really bad uh, knee injury. They, uh, they ripped the, uh, the tendon in the knee. Um, but with that said, I, I'm very fortunate that I got out.